Well, welcome back guys. Hurricane Delta has passed, but the excess water left behind is becoming a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Shreveport mosquito and pest control expert Ty Jean is here to tell us how we can protect our homes, yards and families from that increased mosquito threat due to Hurricane Laura. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So this is a subject that I need desperate help with. I do not like mosquitoes, but they love me and I know a lot of people out there are kind of experiencing a lot of the same issues. Absolutely. And I, you know, no disrespect to the pelican, but a lot of people tend to think that the mosquito is a state bird around, <laughs> around these parts. So yeah, we're no strangers to these guys. I mean, they're, um, they're prevalent everywhere in um, these parts. You know, we've, we've got so many bodies of water and drainage ditches, et cetera. So mm -hmm. they really thrive. And um, when you add a rain event or a, an event like a hurricane that drops, you know, a, a lot of water right. with the rain on it, then you're kind of taking your normal everyday um, amount of mosquitoes and just amplifying that to um, you know the tune of millions more. Certainly, and there's some things that we can do around our house to kind of maybe get rid of them or maybe protect our homes and our families definitely against them. A lot of us might be even allergic to them and have a little bit of, of a more severe reaction. We also know that these pesky little things can carry diseases sometimes. So Ty, tell us a few things that we can do to um, help the problem. Yeah, so I mean, you know, some of the simplest things will will uh, make the biggest difference. You want to keep a tidy, well kept yard. Um, things like bird baths and you know your your water trays that you would have under a potted plant outside. Be sure to just change that water out regularly. Mm -hmm. um, kids' toys, trash cans, um, those types of things that will you know collect rainwater, and uh, it don't, doesn't take much. Yeah. Just a bottle cap of water. Uh, you know, mosquitoes can set up shop. So uh, you really want to, to try to break that breeding cycle with these guys to make the biggest difference. Um, so just make sure you're, you're conscious of that. A couple of things that people tend to overlook are your gutters. Okay. So maybe even as a fall project, clean those gutters out, you know, because it doesn't take but a little bit of organic matter. And now all of a sudden they're holding water and just providing a perfect environment for these guys. Right. And then they're not just outside though. They will make their way into our homes. So protecting our family when we're in the home, is there anything that we can do to kind of keep them outside if we can? Absolutely. And, and again, just kind of your, um, general maintenance type of things. Just do a walk around your home, check your screens on your windows and doors, make sure they're in good shape. Um, you know, to your point, these guys have, I don't know if it's uh, evolved to this point or what they were doing 100 years ago, but they get it. They, yes. they will hang around a door and wait on that opportunity to come in. So, um, you know, you wanna just make sure that you, no cracks in your foundation, check your screens. Um, in the general vicinity of your your home be sure to check and make sure that you're not you don't have decaying stumps and any uneven areas that are collecting water and just making a perfect environment for them. Yes, Ty, those are some great things to keep in mind. And guys, if you're having a hard time tackling your mosquito problem at home, you can certainly call Mosquito Joe. The website is on the screen for more information. Ty, we want everyone to just give you a ring, go to your website, and if they need some help, you can certainly help us out. Absolutely. I'd love the opportunity to, to help you guys get rid of these guys pesky mosquitoes. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us today. We Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Alright guys, we're taking a quick commercial break, but when we return, I may have the solution for your chronic pain and you will be able to say goodbye to those pain pills. We'll be right back.